Good morning, hello and good vibes and welcome to another episode of the Kumok Show Season 6 na. Walang humpay kaming nandi rito every more night pa sa inyo so we can all share the good vibes. Ang show na to ay highly recommended sa mga kagaya ko, kagaya mo, at kagaya natin lahat na merong... Ayun, let's see double tonight. Kahit ang may mga Hollywood celebrities na magkakamuka, mayroon din naman tayo mga Pinoy celebs na may kahawig sa Hollywood. Ito na ang Gap Dates Reloaded Separated at Birth Edition. <laughs> Pareho silang very talented in their respective fields pero pag nakita mo silang magkatabi, parang kambal lang sila. With their big lovable eyes and genuine smiles, Katy Perry and Bianca Gonzalez are our first doppelganger pair. Pareho silang singers na may kanikanyang mga awards para sa kanilang mga songs and albums. Pareho silang may sweet temperament although ang isa sa kanila ay mommy na. Julina Magdangal and Vanessa Carlton have the same eyes and cheekbones. Lagyan kaya natin ng butterfly clips si Vanessa para maiba lang. <laughs> Nakilala si Michelle Branch bilang isang magaling na singer at gitarista na nakipagsabayan pa kay Carlos Santana. Si Karel Marquez naman ay isa ring magaling na singer at artista niyang teatro. Pero pag pinagtabi mo sila, pwede silang magkapatid. Pareho silang powerful na singers at pareho silang may can-do attitude. Mapapasekad look na talaga pag nakita mo si Jesse J at Kay Brosas na magkatabi. Pati sa pangalan, may hawig din award! <laughs> one of the hottest rappers and performers in Hollywood right now and the other one is a local VJ for a music channel. VJ Carla has been told on social media na kamukha daw niya si Iggy Azalea. Wait lang ha, parang di naman eh. Sino may sabi niyan? Baka assume si ate eh. <laughs> Both ladies are stunners. Napakaganda ng kanilang mata, full and beautiful lips at napakagandang facial structure. Para pinagbiyak na buko si Demi Lovato at si Nicole Anderson. Kahit na kaya niyang ibahin ang mukha niya para maging kamukha ng iba't ibang mga celebrities, di na kailangan ni Paolo Balesteros ng makeup para maging kamukha ni John Mayer. Wow! Walang makeup pero swak pa rin sa pagkashare ng face winner! <laughs> Yep, next, mostly controversial and definitely a transformed man. Our guest for tonight has proven to himself and to the entire world that anyone is capable of better change. Hayden Ko speaks to us about his latest projects, achievements, and future plans. Mamaya na yan sa The Timmy Up Show Season 6. Makichi ka sa amin. Share your comments with us. Use the hashtag The Timmy Up Show Season 6 and tag us on Twitter and Instagram at official Timmy Up. Ito na. Sabay sabay ang sabihin, ikaw! Saan ang start ka na ba? Welcome back to the Up Show. Our guest for tonight has had several life journeys. So here to tell us what he's learned through each journey, kasama natin si Hayden Ko. Hey, hey Tim, how are you? Hello. It's been a long, long, long time. Time. Yes. Okay lang ba ipasok mo? Oo, oh, naman ipasok mo ko, gusto ipasok. Hayden, so how, how are you, Tim? Life? Good, good. Uh, I have lessons to oh, oh. like I, you, I heard you uh, say I've been through many, many journeys. So yeah, it's a continuous learning. People always think that mm. uh, para, oh, when you get older, there's, there's, there comes a certain point na, yun na buhay will be life will be the same because you've learned your lessons. Diba? But mm. I, I think the older we get, 
the more profound, maybe more of the same, but on a deeper level, on a more profound level. Uh -huh. How is How is it for you? Well, alam mo naman yan. Uh, we'll go deep here. Uh. Hmm. Alam mo naman yan sa life hindi hindi na tapos ng lessons. You oh. you have achieved a lot of things, but you're very successful. But just because you're successful doesn't mean you've really achieved, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, si kaon ko kaparin ng go, never stop growing, never hmm. stop. Uh, pursuing. Yan yung motto mo sa life, oh, di ba? Both, and no regrets. No, oh, no looking back. Uh, I guess ganun din sa akin. Sometimes uh, you feel you've gone through something very, very hard and intimidating and then you feel na nakuha mo yung lessons na kailangan mo matututunan. But when you uh, just when you think tapos na lahat, biglang may bago na naman, bagong flavor in life, bagong Bakit experience anong bago? in life. Anong bago sa buhay mo yun? Well, I'm only 34 now and I'm still you know, I'm I'm not yet a father, so I know that one day it's another door that must be opened, and I have to go in, and it's going to be a totally uh, new, ex totally, completely new experience. Pero tumalo ba sa mga paternal instinct mo pag ginakita ka mga bata? Yeah, and ever since I'm not hitting naman ako sa mga bata, ayoko lang na sila yung in in a med school. Ayoko lang na sila yung ginagamot ko kasi. Baka ano mangyari, eh. oh. Nakakaawa eh, di ba? Parang, <laughs> hindi, gusto ko silang masaya. Ayoko ko silang oh, nakita mas masakit, may sakit sa uh, umiiyak. It's painful. So, but uh, as a doctor, when you treat patients, ano ba yun? Di ba dapat para meron kang uh, detachment or do you get No, more? no, no. I think com completely the opposite. Kailangan komplet kompleto yung, yung compassion. And the skill must be there, of course, but the compassion is really the flavor, the added ingredient that is very essential. Kasi kung wala kang pakialaman, parang... Gumaling, oh, Trabaho gumaling. lang, oh, gano'n. Well, parehas lang, oh, oh, oh. But uh, going back to journeys, yes, you are right. I've been through many things, I've experienced many things. Um, starting with, of course, with modeling and, and this, uh, med school, med, uh, cosmetic dermatology. Um, went to business, went to other stuff, managing stuff. And then, of course, the perfume business. And now into apologetics, which is a completely new field. Apologetics? What is apologetics? Oh, ito yung fashion ko Sorry, sorry. That's true. Sabi natin, apologetics is your apologizing. But my new uh, passion now is in studying apologetics, uh, which is sort of my vocation. So parang ang life ko ngayon, parang uh, two-way track yan sabay. I have my profession, which is anti-aging medicine. Um, and uh, hopefully in the future, I pass on to the board in terms of therapy. And then my vocation of uh, apologetics and evangelism. And apologetics is, uh, when you say you give an apologetic, that means you're giving a defense or a reason. Okay. So apologetics in the Christian faith is a defense of the Christian faith. So we answer questions like... Defense. 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 Oh. So you're defending the Christian faith. Yeah. Defending it from from what? Uh, well, not just defending, no, but also presenting the reasonableness of the faith, which means... Because many people yeah. question it. Yeah, for uh, example, um, you ask the question, no? why would I believe the Bible is the word of God? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or questions like, where is God in suffering? Or if there is God, then why am I suffering? Or... Um, what is the Trinity and why do what is the proof that God exists? exists. religion? Ganyan. Mm -hmm. Or why do you say that the Christian faith is the true faith? What about Islam or Buddhism. Hinduism or oh. Buddhism or the New Age stuff or, or atheism or agnosticism? Diba? Parang diba arrogant which yan? which mm. I have to say that you've also studied and delved into because the, uh, before you you shifted uh, your faith into the Christian faith, yeah. you were I uh, know you were really deep into uh, a new age kind of mindset, na, yeah. uh, which which answered uh, your answers then. Well, your questions then. I had some answers, yes, pero incoherent. So, merong mga discrepancies, inconsistencies, na nasas nasasagot niyon ng current faith mo. Yes, yes, and important kasi is your coherence. Like for example. Coherence Every, on your coherence, connection yeah, I'll, 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 I'll make it clear, no? Every single person kasi has his or her own worldview. And worldview is not what you see in the world, but how you see the world. Okay? And in a worldview, uh, na bawat isang asa atin, iba-iba, we have to be able to answer the deepest questions of 
origin, where do we come from? Meaning, what is the meaning of life? Um, morality, what is good and bad? And destiny, where are we going? So, I'm sure, pag ikaw tinanong ko, saan tayo nanggaling, you will have an answer. Or at least, sort of an idea. Yes. Okay? Or you're not yet very sure. Um, pag ikaw tinanong ko? Of course, I believe, in, I, I believe in the Christian God, and I believe that we all, we're all created by God in the image of in his image. Yes. That's what I believe. Now, bawat isang tao may kanya-kanyang worldview. Paminsan, halo-halo. Okay. Uh, I, be, I believe, sabi ni C.S. It was, I think it was C.S. Lewis who said that I believe in the Christian faith as much as I believe, like I believe in the sun, not only because uh, I see it, but because by it, I see everything else. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the say that's the same way I feel about the Christian faith. So para it opened your eyes into really seeing the world for what it's meant to be in your life. Yeah, but going back to coherence, no. Kunyari, yung dati, I think nakausap pa kita before about my new age beliefs, beliefs and and ano. Uh, Alam mo every time we see each other, I I uh, there's this different spark in your eye. And it's always uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, related. Uh, yeah, I must say I'm a I'm a searcher. So, so for long, long time, especially after the scandal before, because uh, in time then I really did not believe in any god anymore. But uh, so you became atheist. Kinda, but I was. It was G.K. Chesterton who said that the problem with disbelieving in God is not that you end up believing in nothing but you end up believing in everything. Mm-hmm. So when I took the signal truth, which is God, out of my life, I began to believe everything else. So sinabi sa Because akin, you feel that you took God out of your life? Hindi, kasi lahat, wala ka nang ano eh, wala ka nang... Mapaniwalaan. Hindi, lahat paniniwalaan mo na. Oh. So, punta ka sa ano, uh, kasi lahat naman tao gusto magbago, di ba? Lahat, mm-hmm. ng time na yun, gusto kong baguhin ang sarili ko. But did you notice that no one can really change themselves? Your nature is your nature. Go to the bookstore. Makita mo may mga books na magtuturo sa you a certain way of thinking. Sabi if you believe, if you think this way, if you memorize these doctrines, then you will understand the meaning of life. You will understand who you are. Uh, merong iba naman uh, will teach you or prescribe to you a certain way of feeling. You pursue these experiences. When you get there, you will know the meaning of life. You will know who you are. Oh. Or meron namang iba will that will just prescribe to you a certain way of doing things. Do good things. At okay ka. Okay, do this this way. Take positive thoughts and all that. So Sayo. you see, you see, they will prescribe to you a certain way of thinking, or feeling, or doing. I like my Christian faith, and I believe in that because you, you, you when when you become a Christian, when you accept Christ in your life, you, He changes your being, not thinking, feeling, or doing. And from that new being. Doon lalabas yung bagong way ka mag-isip, bagong experiences na pinapresume mo, nagbabago sa kanyang things that you do. Okay? Now, when, during that time that I, I, I was searching, that's after the scandal before, ang paborito ko, kasi I love reading books, so lagi ako pupunta sa mga, sa mga bookstores, and yun yung nakikita ko na prescribe sa akin, at pinaniniwalaan ko lahat. Okay? And then I, 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 uh, I uh, met with pranic healers, and crystal readers and angel readers. I even went to to Arizona for one month to do Dan Yoga. Uh, nakita, nakakilala pa ako ng Korean Jesus. <laughs> was, Korean Jesus? Yeah, basta mga weird yung mga pinagagawa ko before. Of course, may mga cards and all that. And and parang naniwala ako sa lahat ng sinasabi nila. That it's not making sense anymore. Like for example, so, sobrang they will, dami. They will tell you, for example, um, uh, karma and and um, what do, you, what do you call this? Uh, reincarnation. Oh, reincarnation. Sabi nila, every birth is a rebirth. And every birth is a payment for for your past sins. Past sins. So, yung unang birth mo, ang tanong, oh. ano yung pinagbabayara mo? Oo oh. nga. Wala. Sa so, hindi pa- siya rebirth. Kaya, paano magsisimula yan? So, walang answer doon. So, parang pag binangarap kang ano, ipis. <laughs> yeah, well, depende. Kung depende. <laughs> Ayun, again, marami pa tayo pag-uusapan, you know, and... All the things that, uh, that Hayden has learned, that napakarami niyang realizations. And uh, as we go from one journey to the next, ito na, pag-uusapan ng lahat ng mga yan, ang sama ng Hayden ko, when it's in the next one.
we are back here with the next show, still talking about life and the existential questions wow. that surround <laughs> life, di ba? Let's go deeper and deeper into the psyche of Dr. Hayden. Oh, no, you'll go Hayden, crazy. Uh, when your doctor's license was given back to you, mm. uh, how did you feel? Was it, was it vindicated? Was it sabi ko na nga ba eh? No, 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 man. I felt that there was a purpose for it. Kasi inisip ko before nung nawala yung license ko. I thought, sige. If uh, God doesn't need me, like God doesn't need me to have this in order to fulfill my purpose, then okay lang kahit di ko na makuha. But uh, if I get my license back, ang sabi ko lang na I'm gonna use it for profit lang. I'm gonna use it also for charity. And there must be a reason kung bakit ko siya makuha. When I got my medical license back, which at that time I was in Oxford, di ba? I was mm -hmm. studying. And I didn't, I didn't really work hard to get it back. Um, but I got it. So I thought there must be a reason. And so now I'm uh, pursuing lang what I left before. Because before I was in showbiz, I was uh, studying anti-aging medicine. I finished the course, which, is, which was two years, but I didn't take the boards. Yes. Because I was in the celebrity two years. Oh, 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 oh. Abang kanta kami, iba. Can you do one? Well, anyway, ayon. Uh, so now I'm just uh, start picking up from where I left. Before. Into anti-aging medicine. Yeah, anti-aging medicine. So I'm taking my boards this May. Mm -hmm. And then September, I'm taking my boards in stem cell therapy. Uh, boards na to? Boards, boards, oh, boards. So, so when you pass your boards, uh, ano, anong tawag na sa'yo? Anti-aging fellow. And then if I pass the boards ng stem cell therapy, then I'm a stem cell fellow. Oh. And uh, ang magiging focus ko is really anti-aging medicine, which is to keep people young. Fountain of youth. Which is still in line. I, we hope to find that, but uh, for the meantime... I think stem cell um, is the fountain of youth. For now, yun yung pinaka, ano. But close, close, close must to be that. The, must be something related to the brain. Diba? They're oh. now doing, uh, they're doing the brain project. Okay. And so far, ang mga kaya nilang gawin, they can download your dreams. I mean... Download your download dreams? Your, how was that? What they, the things that they can do with your brain now? Um, they can, kunyari sa Alzheimer's, uh, this is future applications. They can get your memory. And then, just in case magkasa Alzheimer's ka before, they can just download it, uh, upload it back. So that but is being done now? That is being done now. Kasi di ba so tapos na yung... So they found a cure for Alzheimer's? Well, hindi pa nila na-perfect yan, but still, it's, 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 it's How experimental. How come they haven't found the cures for, for cancer, for AIDS? Uh, funding yung question dyan. Kasi di ba before nagkaroon tayo ng genome project and lahat ng maraming countries, uh, continents, nag-support ng genome project. And now we have the idea about... Um, what the DNA is, what we can, what it can do, the role of uh, genetics in diseases. Now, naman they're doing the brain project, and it's all being funded by many continents. So, yun naman yun. So, uh, yeah, it's an exciting field. And uh, if you want to attend conferences, there is Singularity University. Yeah, just Pretty ask cool. Na lang. <laughs> yeah. Ayun na sa mga learning. Mga ginagawa nila ngayon, nag nag uh, nag control sila ng mga robots using the brain ng Lohans. Using the brain of Nakita a human being. Yung mga toys ng mga bata ngayon, oh. yung, yung nag-float na may sinusuot lang silang things here, and then pinapa-float nila using their focus. Oh. Yung balls, ganyan. Tapos pinapa-move nila. Oh, Sige nga, yung balls, galaw, galaw, balls. <laughs> iba nga, iba. Oh. <laughs> iba nga yung sayo. Oh. Anyway, there, 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 there. That's the answer. Wow, yeah. so interesting. Uh, yeah. But also, uh, uh, balik ko lang sa, uh, no, no. But people who prosecuted you, uh, before, mm. they are now in not such great places in their lives. Well, anyone who, well, everyone who, who uh, like you said, persecuted me before, you know. I mean, you were attacked by Senator Bong Revilla. Yeah. Well, whatever happened to me before, I think I deserve it naman. Mm. So, it's not really a problem. Um, nothing to forgive. And you feel, do you feel that you paid for it already? I think so, but I also think that whatever I'm getting now, um, like where I am now, it's also something I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. So everything... Ah, so it's more a humility thing for you. So you don't deserve all this knowledge and wisdom and this... No, the, all the opportunities, all the doors that are open for me now, I feel that parang I don't really deserve it. That's why I don't take it for granted. Oh. I'm really grateful every day. So opportunities like this is no simple thing. Of course, para sa atin, parang interview, interview lang to, ganyan. But to me, it's it's still something that I don't want to take for granted. Yeah, still, oh, no, still so this very are, thankful. People are questioning their, their existence and their purpose <laughs> and their naman. destiny. But, uh, but, uh, but if we can do that, then that's a great thing. It diba? gives other people answers and it mm. gives people, other people more questions. Mm. Why well, life is question answer.
Everything maganda if we can get people to ask questions from the society. But so who is Hayden now? After all the questioning and after all the answers, sino ka na ba talaga ngayon? Ako, ano ko ang hirap niyan because mm. kailangan natin ng isang episode to answer that question. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I do believe that I am the son of God. And that, um, sabi nyo before, that I'm not yet where I want to be, but I know I'm not where I And I said that before, and I said that before, but uh, I really believe that. Eh. Do you see yourself as a married man? Of course, of course, of course. Do you see it this year? I don't see myself as, as a, a single. <laughs> uh-huh. So, sooner or later, I'm going to be going in. Just like many of our friends here. Yeah. <laughs> no, but a lot of people uh, are, are, have been waiting for you to propose or for you and Vicky. I already did naman, 2011 pa yun. Sorry, no, a lot of people are waiting to see, the, for, waiting for the time to see you guys married. Kung mangyayari yun, hindi malalaman niya mga yan. Tayo tayo ba? Oo, okay. okay. So it will be done in yeah. private. Oh. Tama, 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 tama. <laughs> yeah, there is, oh, I just think that there are certain things na hindi kailangan nakasulat sa, read, sa, sa newspapers oh. or ano. How about kids, since you love kids, and uh, do you and Vicky intend to have kids? Of course. Mm. Oh, oh. Sabihin ko sa'yo mamaya. Again, science, just like religion, provides a lot of answers. And a, lot, a lot of solutions as a well. A lot of solutions as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, um, Hayden, uh, years from now, five years from now, um, you know, where do you see yourself? I can imagine myself uh, involved in research. That's as far as the medical field is concerned. But I, I think in five years' time, I'll be focused all more on uh, siguro ministry or answering questions of people. Wow, ang galing naman. Or it, as in real questions of people, like yeah. why are we here and, and where are we going, what is right and wrong, and, and things like that. Ang galing naman, you managed to marry the medical side, which is really, which is really a lot of work. You gotta, have to make money, no? <laughs> Pero pinipair mo siya with religion, with, with faith. Diba? Ah, the yeah. medical side of you, which is like very mental and yeah. uh, really uh, asks a lot of questions, with the faith side of you, which also asks many questions. I, I think silang dalawa, there's a big difference when it comes to... They're the, strange mental. <laughs> yeah, but the, the big oh, difference na gusto mong yung, yung uh, ginagamit mo na utility. Uh, one is in the brain and the other one is really in the heart. In and soul. you know naman, yeah, and uh-huh. it concerns the soul, yes. Um, but you know, yan yung pinakamahirap eh. Diba sinasabi mo, the farthest distance that you can travel is from the here to here. Yeah. Diba? And another one is yeah, from here. Like, <laughs> oh. The other one is from here <laughs> to here to here. Pero dito ba dito ba na? Dito ba dito ba na? From here to here to here to here, here. and then to Fire. here, to the world, it goes to the universe. Yes, right? damn, yes, damn. <laughs> so again, mm-hmm. Hayden, well, thank you so much. Thank and, you so uh, much, Tim, for having uh, again, me. Again, yeah. um, you know, you always provide a lot of answers, but you always follow it up with even more questions. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's the life. key. I think kailangan na lagi tayo nagtatanong ng questions sa sarina. The moment we stop asking questions is the moment we sort of give up having answers. You know, and it's really, really important that we ask the right questions because if we, sad generation natin, if we don't ask the right questions, oh. pani next generation. If we say there are no answers, they will stop asking questions. And the generation after that, once they stop asking questions, the, the other generation won't even know what questions to ask because they don't know. And I think that's a tragedy for the Marian. So keep on questioning life because there's so many questions to be answered, so many answers that life is here. Right? So this. Thank you so much, Hayden. Thank you, Tim. For the Lalim ng conversation natin. <laughs> and inspiration. Hindi yan, nakaka-good vibes nga. Dahil yung sinasabi, dapat laging good vibes. Bag- na, ibang right? flavor naman dun sa Tim Yap Show. Oh, wow. Ganda. Salamat. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank you, buddy. You're happy to be you. back. Okay. Kasama si Dr. Hayden. So, you were watching. Thank you so much.